Well, what a strange set of characters we have, all in bed together, working towards the same outcome, the election of Keir Starmer at the general election. Because, of course, yesterday, Rishi Sunak announced the election would be held on July the 4th in around six weeks' time, and right in the middle of it, somebody played the anthem from Tony Blair's 1997 landslide victory and the optics disaster of the century, probably. And because of our collective sacrifice and your hard work, we have reached two major milestones in delivering that stability. Showing that when we work together... A little grin, he's just heard it. ...anything is possible. Our economy is now growing faster than anyone predicted, outpacing Germany, France and the United States. And this morning it was confirmed that inflation is back to normal. This means that the pressure on prices will ease and mortgage rates will come down. This is proof that the plan and priorities I set out are working. So I thought it was worth looking at who orchestrated this protest here, because it is worth asking yourself who you are aligning with and, and what this means. And here's the protest itself at the edge of Downing Street. And I'll just mute it for copyright reasons. But if you don't know, Downing Street is a very short street. And you can get to the very edge of it here, which is just gated. And you're allowed to do your protest there. And the guy who orchestrated it is the guy in the bowler hat here. And it is Steve Bray also known as Mr. Stop Brexit, who has been on an endless, never-ending campaign since 2019 to overturn Brexit, and of course is a Labour Party stooge, as you can see in a rare sign, in a rare a photo of him holding a Labour Party sign. But of course, the usual cast of characters were immediately on Twitter, X, to uh, celebrate this i mean his academic agent reposting a labor union and telling us that he's voting for keir starmer he puts a little angry face there just to make you think he doesn't want to do it by the way and of course useful idiots like carl benjamin are also on the same bandwagon uh, it really is worth bearing in mind who you are getting into bed with and what does this mean Especially as the guy here, second from the right, who has been telling you that the guy on the left, Tony Blair, is the Machiavellian political genius of our time, of the last century even. And, of course, Tony Blair is working towards the election of Keir Starmer. I mean, you're fully aware of that, aren't you? I mean, here he is with Alistair Campbell... All the same figures from the Tony Blair era are currently working towards electing Keir Starmer. This is going to be Tony Blair's government 2.0. Even Peter Mandelson is back effectively running the campaign. You knew that, didn't you? He's back, leaning intently over the gallery in the Commons to watch Keir Starmer's performance at Prime Minister's Questions at almost every social Labour gathering in London. In the front row when Starmer speaks to business, Peter Mandelson has become once more smoothly, imperturbably omnipresent. And it wasn't like that a year ago. And of course there he is on the, on the front at a conference. So, the question then has to be asked... If this guy knows that the guy on the left is the Machiavellian political genius of our time, and this guy is working to elect Keir Starmer, then why are these guys working to elect him? Well, you have to also accept a contradictory premise that these people somehow believe, which is that electing Keir Starmer will end up in the long run that you get the resurrection of Enoch Powell somehow, however that works, and that Tony Blair 
despite being the Machiavellian political genius of our time, has got it all wrong. On this one issue that matters, he gets everything else right, according to this guy, so much so that he's spent hundreds of hours at this point now talking about him and analysing him. But on this one issue that matters, he wants you to believe that he's got it all wrong and that doing what he wants will actually get you what you want. I mean, are you all high? What's going on? What drugs are you all smoking? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm exasperated at all this. And you're in bed with these characters. These are, these are the people who you're currently in bed with. I mean, it's crazy. It really is. Let's look a little bit more at this then. This is the guy's account, by the way. Get Tories done. General election, no. Calling on all fishermen, farmers, industry, extinction, rebellion, Black Lives Matter, the European movement, pro-EU and pro-democracy groups, Labour, Lib Dems, Greens, Plaid Cymru, Independence, SNP et al. We all need to step up our action urgently. The UK won't save itself. Why did Russians donate huge sums of money to the Conservative Party? Take the knee, Black Lives Matter. It's not economic migrants, it's refugees. Immigration built Britain. Oh, and here he is hassling uh, the immigration minister. What the people want at all. You've shown it all the will of the people. It is not the will of the people. No to Rwanda. 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 No I'm showing you this because it is worth realising who you are in the same bed with, all working towards the same outcome. These people all want exactly what this guy and this guy currently want, bizarrely. You know what? If you did that your bodyguards, right, we could have a serious discussion. Yeah, yeah. Nigel Farage. Shame Farrell. on you. You're, you're a disgrace to the United Kingdom. Have a serious you make yourself out to be a patriot. Shame you're a right wing fascist. You. you are. You are a right wing fascist. How you not been banned? I've just been banned from the area, by the way. But now I've seen you, I'm hanging around. You are. You are vile. Am I? Oh. Do I get? Do I get up your nose, That's Mr. Farage? No, you've got no manners. I got no manners. No. You're a fascist. Why should I? Don't be a moron. You're a right-wing fascist. I, didn't, I never thought you were stupid, but now ah, I'm not stupid. I'm just not a twat like you, Mr. Farage. You're a disgrace to the United Kingdom. You are betrayed. You are, this you are a you traitor. Are Look at you to the United <laughs> Kingdom. You're a traitor, Nigel Farage. So again, I ask you: Are you all high? What's going on? When this guy is the Machiavellian political genius of our time, as told to you by this guy, who has him as number one on his banner, by the way. And Ken has spent the last five years literally just sycophantically adoring over him. He tells you, Tony Blair, four years ago, is the Machiavellian genius. Okay, if that's true, then... How is he getting this one wrong and actually electing Keir Starmer is going to be not what he wants to happen, but what it's going to result in you getting what you want. Explain that to me, because you all say that I'm the crazy one, but you're all smoking something or something is awry in the state of the DR here. I don't know what else to tell you. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.